All right, let's move on. We did two examples of both and inequalities. Now we're gonna do a couple examples of or inequalities and we'll be done. Or inequalities are solved in two separate parts, but those two parts are solved in the same exact way we have solved inequalities already up to this point. So, or inequalities look like x divided by six is greater than or equal to one, or, and that's the giveaway, you guys, you see an or in there? That means you have an or inequality. Pretty obvious, right? Three plus x is less than four. So you have two separate things here. And all we have to do is solve for the variable in both of them. Then I'll show you how to graph it. So let's solve for the variable in both of them. Divide and conquer. How do we get x by itself over here? Well, we've done this before. All we have to do is multiply by six on this side, multiply by six on this side. X is now by itself. And uh, we didn't multiply or divide by negative, so we will not need to flip this inequality sign. Our variable is on the left, right where we want it. One times six is six, and we have solved this side of the deal. Now we have to do the right side. So we have a positive three here and we need it off of that left side here. Variable is on the left side. We want it there, but we need the three gone. So we're gonna have to uh, subtract it off. We have that going away and we have X is less than what guys, four minus three. Four minus three is one. So we're gonna have these two things, x is greater than or equal to six or x is less than one. And we are in perfect condition to graph this now. Let's draw our line, arrow, arrow. And we have, oh, actually before I switch colors, I'm gonna label. So we got uh, one at one part and then six. So our two numbers are one and six. So let's put one here and we'll put six, uh, and it doesn't really matter, but we'll put six here. And we have X is greater than or equal to six. Okay. So that means that what open or closed circle guys, closed circle. And then X is greater than or equal to that. So that means X is going that way as where X is. And then X is also, or X is less than one. So here's one and open or closed circle. Open, right? Because we don't have equal to. And X is less than one, not including one. So there we go. And we have an or graph. Now I'm gonna encourage you to try this last one on your own. And there's an important rule I need you to remember that if we ever multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, we need to flip the sign, right? Okay, so let's think about this. We need to get M by itself on one side, M by itself on one side, divide and conquer. So let's get this negative six off of here. So we'll divide by negative six. But like I said, when we divide by a negative, it triggers something. It triggers the flip. So we have M is not greater than or equal to, but now less than or equal to. We flipped the sign because we divided by a negative on both sides. 12 divided by negative six is negative two. That's one part or m minus three, well, we have to add the negative. So we'll add positive three, add positive three. We've done this before, that goes away. M is now greater than negative one plus three is positive two. So we didn't need to flip it. We were not multiplying or dividing in that case, but now we have our 
or inequalities complete. Now let's graph. What are our two numbers, guys? Negative two and two. So let's put those two on the, well, I'm gonna be consistent here because uh, that's what I did before, put the numbers in black, negative two and two. And we're gonna have our OR graph, we're gonna have um, arrows going in opposite directions because it's an OR inequality. So M is less than or equal to negative two. That's gonna be open or closed circle closed. And then this one's going to be an open circle. M is less than or, or equal to negative two. So arrow goes that way. M is greater than two. Arrow goes that way. And those are or inequalities. And we are done with that compound inequalities.